how you doing? My name's Ryan and this is Tiny Automations. Today I'm going to show you how you can use Make as an API to get data from Excel. The reason I'm going to use Make is because Make has excellent integrations with Microsoft 365 and what we want to be able to do by the end of this tutorial is create this scenario that you can see on the screen now. So you can hit a URL and you get a responsive JSON of the last row of your Excel spreadsheet. So this is the scenario we've got in Make. It's a four node scenario. First one is a webhook, so we can hit a URL. And what that will do is when we hit the URL, it will go to our Microsoft 365 Excel sheet and it will get the last row from there, return it as a string. That string will then be converted to JSON and the webhook response will return it. So for the first node, we're going to create a webhook. Click on webhook, custom webhook. We want to create a new webhook. Let's call it Excel API. Save that. So then we can copy this address and hit the URL in our browser. So look, that says that it's successfully determined there. So that's all up and running already. Simple as that. Okay, so the next node is our Excel. What we need to do here is to hit the API. So we can make an API call and get the last row of our Excel spreadsheet. As you can see, there's an empty input box here for your URL. What we need to do here is enter a path or a query to our Microsoft Graph. What we have here is the Microsoft Graph Explorer. So we can build a query that we can add to that URL input box. So on the side here, we have some sample queries. So if we click on my photo, we get my photo. Beautiful. And we can see what we'd need to call here to get that. So what we need is an Excel. And we want to get a worksheet and a workbook. So that fills this box here and we have to fill in the ID. So I paste the ID in and we click run query and we get a response. That's good, but that's not actually what we want. That actually returns all the worksheets. But if we look at the Excel spreadsheet that I actually want to get the data from, it's from a sheet called subscribers. So we just want this last row here from subscribers. So to do that, we just have to use this syntax, run that query. So that gets that sheet, but we just want the last row. So for that, you do used range and then you go last row. So the use range just means that it uses all the filled in cells rather than the whole empty, a load of empty cells on the worksheet. Click run query, there we go. As you can see, we've got the data here. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna sanitize this data. I'm just gonna pass it through as is, as JSON because we can always use the extra data and sanitize it later on. So I'm just going to copy this part of the URL, because as you'll see in our scenario, we need to add the path relative. So I just missed the front slash there. Do that and we can click okay. And we run this scenario. I have to hit this webhook again, accepted. So this should start running now. And as you can see, the Excel is hitting the API. Great. It's return data and we can look at that by clicking here. Excellent. We've got the data we wanted, the latest filled in data. The next step is to add a JSON node. There we go. And we want to transform it to JSON. And the object we want to use 
is the body. We'll just use the body. Like I said previously, we can sanitize the data later. Bit of a rhyme there. Let's run that again. That's fine, we can run it anyway. Hit the webhook endpoint, kicks the scenario off, goes through. Here we go. There we go, so we've got it as, date, as JSON. Now that's not much use to us, as you can see when we hit this endpoint, it just says accepted. So we actually want to get the data in there. To do that, we have to add a response to webhook. Webhook response, sorry. No, status 200, that means it's okay, it's good. And the body, we want this JSON string. So that's the JSON string from the previous node. The previous step, click OK. Once again, we'll run this. That's running. Now, when I hit this, we should get a bunch of data back. Brilliant, there we go. So now we can access our Excel last row data from outside of our Excel spreadsheet. And we can use it for other things, such as dynamically creating an infographic, which I am gonna show you in the next video. So that's it. Hits the webhook, gets data from Excel, the last row of your sheet, converts it to JSON, and then responds and passes the data back. Great, if you like the video, give us a like, or let me know if you want me to automate anything and do a video of it. I'd love to hear from you. Cheers. Ta-ra.